Hi guys, welcome to this video about a problem uh, with the sandboxy that's a sandbox option which you can use for browsers and other programs and at the moment it seems to have a problem in the current version with the current version of Google Chrome. So what happens when you invoke Google Chrome, it says, oh snap, something went wrong while displaying, displaying this web, web page and you can even click on reload and nothing happens. I sometimes clicked on reload and I got another message, yeah, this one, so can't open this page, that's another option which you have. And yeah, whatever you do, there's no, no way to get anything uh, like uh, Google, yeah, so, okay, you see, no way to uh, get to a website. So, yeah, um, let's go back to the sandboxy. So, probably when you were looking for this, you already know about the sandboxy. Uh, and I don't have to tell you a lot more about this. This is really a great program. It can be used for home or commercial, but actually you have to pay for it, but you can use it, uh, I think, for 30 days without paying, and even then you can click away the uh, payment option. Uh, I think at least for the moment you can do that, click away the payment thing and you can continue to use it for another 30 days or something like that. So yeah, uh, anyway, the sandbox uh, can be used for any type of program uh, like browser. So when you want to test a website, let's say you get an email from uh, somebody you don't know, there's a link and you don't know if it's really a good thing to click on the link or not, then it's always good to have a sandbox browser where you can click and nothing will happen to your computer. I've been using other programs and they failed over time. so. I've done a lot of research and I ended with the sandboxy and they got a lot of really good reviews. And yeah, so I decided to go with that and tried it. So I installed it and what you get is uh, this icon here, the other ones I added later on my own. So you get this only I can the sandbox web browser and you can click on that and that's the result so you see just oh snap so what happens it opens the default browser which is in my case the Google Chrome and Google Chrome obviously doesn't work with the, the current Google Chrome uh, version since I think January uh, doesn't work anymore with the sandboxy in the current version. So you have two options. You can uh, download the latest Google Chrome beta and I think this should work and uh, you can also download the latest sandboxy beta version and this should solve the problem too. But if you don't want to install beta versions, you have other options too. I mean, what you get actually here with the sandbox, you get a menu where you can right click and then you can invoke a browser email or whatever. And yeah, th this doesn't help. I mean, you can run any program from here, but I haven't found out how this works. You get a pull down menu, but there's nothing in that. I have been trying to invoke the Internet Explorer, but didn't work. So how did I uh, start the Internet Explorer from here? So I press the Windows key typed IE. So here we have the Internet Explorer. So you right click on that, open file location, and then you get the location where the Internet Explorer or at least the Internet Explorer shortcut 
is so you can right click on that and run sandbox okay so run it in uh, default box let's click on OK and that should bring up the Internet Explorer in the sandbox so I make it a little bit smaller so you can see everything so you see when I go when I hover into this window with my mouse you see this yellow border around this window that shows that's really sandboxed so whatever you do it won't have any effect on the computer it is just a temporary thing and whatever they try to install it's only installed in the sandbox it's not installed in your computer so they can't install any viruses or other things you can click on anything nothing will happen to your computer just make sure when you uh, set the options here there are options on I think right click here um, I have to look for that I'm not sure how I can get to the options there are some options I have added these uh, yeah there's another thing I've added these icons you can click on Windows and type send uh, boxy or just send and then you get a lot of these programs and I have added then these um, shortcuts to the desktop to access um, everything so you here you also have the sandboxy control what's important here I hope I can find it uh, again so there's the yeah default box one and here you have the sandbox settings and here under delete delete invocation you have you have to check mark this automatically delete content of sandbox so that means when you uh, close your program everything like all downloads all temporary files everything will be deleted that's really important okay so that's it for now let's close everything um what's that yeah sure okay so yeah that's uh, it i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time